So guys, we got Travis up on a ladder. We are still working on these shelves, but we're gonna get them finished today and uh, show you how it goes. So I'll give you a proper tour in a minute, but I'm just see, I think my last vlog, we were just getting, um, we were just getting these started and a lot has happened between starting them and where we are now. No issue with the shelving. But uh, you can see Travis is working on the shelves there. And then just to bring you up to speed quickly, uh, yeah, we lost our dining room table in the process. And then we're gonna do two more in this corner. So here is how these bookshelves have worked out. Okay, I feel like I have to do a captain's log on where we have been with these bookshelves. You all have seen the vlog where I go to Ikea for the first time and we buy the bookshelves and here's the link for that. And then I also shared a vlog where it was our first weekend putting these shelves together. That was about a week and a half ago from the time I filmed this video. You see what happened is I always got my stories on what on stuff that happened. So that weekend we worked on the shelves. Monday we went out shopping. Tuesday my mom was here. I had dental appointments with the older kids, took them to the lake. Thursday I had dental appointments with the little kids. So in the middle on Wednesday we went on this wonderful hike like we do most days and I'll pop a picture for you up this here I shared it on Instagram you notice in that picture that Benjamin is pretty crooked on my back and the ergo is hanging to one side and that big chunky baby is like a 30 pound baby now it seems so he fell asleep at an odd angle and I didn't realize it till I got home it busted my neck I'll just say it busted my neck I have a lot of videos from like four years ago when I had my original neck injury. It's a cervical subluxation. And so I just have to not hang 30 pound babies from the back of my neck. You know, I don't wear book bags or anything that pulls back here. So I could hardly move by the time I, you know, got the baby off. So I could hardly move by that evening. Travis took me out to the chiropractor and then we had like I think up to seven days that I pretty much just laid in bed, rotated ice and heat, took ibuprofen, went to the chiropractor every day. Like I really did a doozy on my neck, okay? And today is the first day that I'm out and about. I've still been wearing my neck brace for support while I've been up and around. I mean, I hurt it bad. So I'm coming to the other side of that now, but that put a damper on getting these shelves done because instead of busting my neck, my plan for that week was was to uh to get the to get the bookshelves all loaded up exactly how we want them we have two years if you're new here we have like a whole wall in our garage full of book boxes plus i'm a passionate homeschool mama about books and i buy books all the time so this is a long time coming that'll bring you up to speed with where we are yesterday travis and i went back to ikea the shelf in the middle uh, we measured and realized we had room for that and then we decided to also do another corner shelf opposite side of this room travis is doing bookshelves there. Zion has been a big help in learning all kinds of engineering skills, putting these shelves together, and uh, yeah, so we just figured that would look good. We're going on a big road trip, and while we're gone, painters are coming, and they're gonna paint the entire interior of this house downstairs. Uh, I'm sure that'll be another vlog, but you can see like where I have filled holes and such. And I also realize I need new curtains. And I saw at Ikea yesterday where they have a wonderful fabric session. So this room is just going to be like my dream homeschool dining room because many homeschoolers I know use their dining room as their school room. And uh, anyway, we'll school, we'll school in here, we'll eat in here, all the things. You can see one day we, we were able to go through and start getting books out here and I have another bag of wonderful organizational goodies from Ikea last night and what I'm thinking at this moment is that this wall is going to be our project shelves and our craft shelves and game shelves and then over here is going to be all of our books I still have more books in the back of my office I think I'm going to bring out so quick grilled hot dogs and corn is gonna be our lunch for today I think we're, we're probably grilling out for dinner tonight it just feels like a grilling day and uh, in between busting out all these boxes with these bookshelves right now Naomi is in there working on getting our games organized we went back to Ikea last night for three more shelves so I've been trying to get their baskets in different colors just to break it up a little bit visually so I got some darker brown there. And then this is just, Liam and Amelia went in with me 
and they like using a butter knife and such, uh, cutting their food, and these little kids wear have knives in them. So we got some of those. And then this thing looked real neat, you know, the classic thing of hanging up kids pictures. They said you can cut the wire to whatever length you want. And so it's just this wire that hangs however long you decide. And so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna find a spot to hang this wire and then these little hooks hang from it and that way we can display kid art that way. Hmm, that is one idea and I would have bought more than one and I was thinking of doing like a whole slender wall, but this is the last one that I could find in the store. And then for, I was thinking, this is like another $14 thing, one of these carrying caddies. And so I was thinking this could be like pencils and school supplies that the kids could put, could pick up and take like in the middle of the table for everyone. And then these were my last thing, these little blue baskets. I took the packaging off of one for you to see. I just thought they would look so cute. I was picturing one like filled with crayons and one filled with colored pencils and one filled, I don't know, glue sticks and scissors. I just, you know, homeschool mamas, <laughs> you could never have too many little containers to organize goodies in. So Travis and Zion have these shelves built and attached to the wall. Now Travis has Gabriel measuring and installing the actual shelf pieces. Good job, Gabriel. So look at this. This is what is left from our great moving debacle of two years ago. These are book boxes and let's see. Oh, I guess we have, I'm trying to back up here. I guess we probably have, yeah, we must have about 16 to 18. We're gonna get into these now and uh, remember what we had from two years ago. Okay, so Naomi is doing the honors. She wants to open this game box first. Okay, it should be lots of puzzles and miscellaneous things. So in going through this box, look, now this is like, how long have you been around my channel? But these books, it gave me like a little heart pang. Oh, nostalgia. These were all books that we had just finished reading. Um, boy, the summer that I really started to do YouTube kind of consistently. Some of my first like homeschool mom day in the life type vlogs and such from 2015. We were reading these books as our read alouds. And here they were just all in a stack. Some of our favorites. So all of these books have been, we just wiped them front and back. Some of them had like a little dust. Some of them were fine. Found my other collection of Little House on the Prairie. Yes, Benjamin. And uh, yeah, just Jacob's Rex Rescue. So many good books. So I'm, we're gonna pull this bag in and start getting these put away. So here's how the floor's looking. We've been slowly bringing in books and putting them away. Zion's working on a box there. The box is behind him. We need to go through. We've got a bunch of games put in place. We had picture albums there. We're gonna make this corner all of our picture albums. And so far we've got some yearbooks unloaded, those kind of things. So we didn't get it all done yesterday, but we sure got a lot of our book boxes. Think, okay, we got all of our book boxes unloaded. I am going through now and doing some little more like fine tune organizing. I've got two more of these um, box, storage boxes I got from Ikea that I have to cut the strings off and at least set out. It's no, nothing wrong with having extra storage boxes and baskets hanging out waiting for my new homeschool order to come because that is going to be huge. And I'm here acting like I'm done and I just realized, oh no, wait, <laughs> we've got tons of homeschool stuff out in our kitchen cabinet. So now we're bringing that out to stack and get organized on the shelves. So right now I've been doing stuff. I pulled everything out from the cabinets and I have, this is like all the, uh, just the paper with little, just with crud on it and scribbles and such. This is the artwork pages that I'm keeping. Right now I have folders in the filing cabinet with all the kids precious artwork that we want to save. And I think what I'm going to do for them right now though, is create each of them just in these extra binders, give everyone their own artwork binder and the plastic sheet protectors, and they can just kind of have a, a notebook display of their current art pieces. So I interrupt this working on my shelf project to show you my kitchen that has now exploded. As I shared before, our homeschool stuff has been in a lot of these cabinets for quite a while, and I've gained back five new cabinets now working out there in the dining room. So now what I'm 
doing is kind of like wiping out cabinets, trying to find a new home for my bread machine. If you want to know where I keep that big 30 quart bowl, it's going to now be in there. In these cabinets I have moved more bowls and then over here. Yeah, look, just more cabinet room. So exciting. I'm going to move these griddles and such up here into these cabinets and then I'm going to um, try to fit my bread machines in there and I think that shelf comes out I may have to take it out so I found a home for my pressure cookers and my biggest pot and then down here I've got my biggest bowl at an angle there I've got my mixer down there and here where we did have all the kids craft stuff I now look at that it's amazing I have kitchen things in the kitchen cabinets okay I just wanted to give you guys a update on what time it is because now I'm going to show you this room in full, just full detail. So here we go. So yes, 1121 at night. I've been trucking along besides working on all these shelves here. I uh, totally reorganized my kitchen cabinets. So took a little bit. But anyway, this is a small set of shelves and I love it. So it is, I would say, probably about 50% organized. I mean, over here, this first section is all games and this is where I've decided the games are going to live. Up there in that box, that is a whole, I think it's like 12 months of that Magic School Bus Science Curriculum. Edusense used to be one of my sponsors, so I did get that for free. Thank you, Edusense. But that is something that's still available online. And uh, anyway, so all of our little packs that have the science experiments and stuff are up there for now. And along the top there, that's an empty basket, and that is an empty basket just waiting for a purpose in life. That is my cross stitch and crochet stuff that will not live there, but for now it's going to stay. I have about four big boxes of this year's homeschool curriculum on the way. And so these things are not going to stay here. For now, they're just placeholders. There's empty binders, empty organizing baskets I showed you. That basket has stencils in it now. That has paper, that has workbooks, but it's not going to stay like that. I put um, colored paper for now. I do like this organized and I wanna get more from Dollar Tree. Colored paper in there more empty notebooks, Matthew C. blocks, more empty organizing containers. So I'm going to do a huge uh, homeschool supply haul for craft supplies, markers, pencils, all of that. And we have tons of books coming at this moment. I think that I will take all of these things out once I get all of that, organize our books, give Zion two shelves for his high school stuff, and then younger kids will have their rows of books and math books and all of that. Okay, how do you like this? Are you ready for the big, the big homeschool dream shelf reveal? Here we go. There it is. All of those books. Oh, so many books. So we have, after all of these books, we have empty shelves down here. There's actually four, and then there's a small little one there. And then over here, this is our special family corner shelf nook area. I have my part of my grandmother's tea set. Her name was Naomi Allegra too, just like our Naomi Allegra. Her tea set is on top. And then we have family picture albums and some yearbooks and other things in there. Those notebooks are fun because those are like Little Jade and Little Zion original lap books and my homeschool journals when we first started homeschooling and, and all of that. So anyway, we're gonna continue to fill these with hard copy picture albums, etc. And then over here, just a ton of children's literature. We have some sunlight uh, high school books in this area. And yeah, boxcar children, missionary stories. I just think this all worked out so well. Down here, Dr. Seuss, Golden Books, Berenstain Bears. At the bottom shelf, that is a menagerie of many different like children's storybooks more chapter books got a science shelf there and along the top here i have just so many homeschool books from over the years actually in the middle here this is a little shelf i was keeping of 
books I have found that I have double copies of. And so I reached out to uh, of one friend of mine to see if she needs the complete Little House on the Prairie set. I'm sure if she doesn't, I can find another mom in my homeschool group who needs it. I've got like a White Fang and To Kill a Mockingbird and My Side of the Mountain and two extra copies of Anna Green Gables, another Black Beauty. Um, anyway, just things I know we have doubles or triples of. I'm trying to just set aside to pass on. And I was, I was kind. Travis has two shelves of car books. We have all kinds of Bible books, Bible study, reference books. And so now here's what the homeschool room, dining room, all the things room looks like now when you first come in the door. And then as I've mentioned, once we get our painting done, we will take another vlogging trip to Ikea, get some fresh curtains, and I'm planning to do family pictures there after the painting is done. And I've also had several of you ask me about this tablecloth. I know it's kind of getting worn looking now because I've used it for two years, but many of you have asked where I got it, and that is two Better Home and Gardens shower curtains that my mom took and sewed together for us. It has made a wonderful tablecloth for us, so probably need to get pick up my mama two more shower curtains so she can do that for me again. So that's it, friends. I uh, My words are a slurrin'. So thank you for hanging out and watching all these vlogs, doing this massive dining room takeover. Now this is our library room, homeschool room, dining room, project room. This room is gonna be getting lots of loving. So I will see you very soon with a new video. If you are new, please subscribe. I come out with videos five days a week. May not be Monday through Friday. It may end up being like Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday evening, or something like that. But five times a week is my goal, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.